Hello and welcome to this episode of History Matters. Today we are going to talk about Steve Biko, the founder of the Black Consciousness Movement in South Africa, and a martyr for the anti-apartheid struggle. Steve Biko was born on December 18, 1946, in King Williamstown, a small town in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa. He grew up in a poor Josa family and witnessed the oppression and injustice that the black majority faced under the white minority rule of apartheid. He then enrolled in a liberal boarding school in Natal, and later entered the University of Natal Medical School. There he joined the National Union of South African Students, or New SAS, a multiracial organization that advocated for the rights of blacks. However, he soon became disillusioned with NUSAS, as he felt that it was dominated by white liberals, who did not understand the black experience, and often acted in a paternalistic manner. He believed that black people needed to organize independently and to develop their own identity, culture, and consciousness, free from the influence of white society. In 1968, he co-founded the South African Students' Organization, or SASO, an all-black student body that promoted the philosophy of black consciousness. This was a radical and revolutionary idea at the time, as it challenged the internalized racism and inferiority that many blacks had accepted as a result of centuries of colonialism and apartheid. Biko popularized the slogan, Black is Beautiful, and encouraged blacks to take pride in their heritage and to resist the oppression and exploitation of the system. He also advocated for a non-violent and peaceful approach, based on dialogue and education. Sasso soon spread from university campuses, to urban black communities and inspired a wave of activism and resistance among the youth. In 1972, Biko was one of the founders of the Black People's Convention, or BPC, an umbrella organization of black consciousness, groups that aimed to mobilize the masses for political and social change. He also initiated several community projects, such as health clinics, literacy programs, and cooperatives to empower and uplift the poor and marginalized. Biko's activities and influence drew the attention and ire of the apartheid government, which saw him as a subversive and dangerous threat. In 1973, he was banned, which meant that he was restricted in his movements, associations, and public statements. He was also harassed, arrested, and detained several times by the security forces, who subjected him to brutal interrogation and torture. Despite these obstacles, he continued to operate covertly and to communicate his ideas through writings and speeches using the pseudonym Frank Talk. On August 18, 1977, he and a fellow activist were arrested at a roadblock and taken to a police station in Port Elizabeth. There he was severely beaten and left in a coma. He was then transferred to a prison in Pretoria, one for 190 kilometers away, naked and shackled in the back of a police van. He died on September 12, 1977, at the age of 30, from a massive brain hemorrhage. His death sparked national and international outrage and exposed the brutality and inhumanity of the apartheid regime. He was buried in his hometown, where thousands of mourners attended his funeral. Steve Biko is widely regarded as one of the most influential and charismatic leaders of the anti-apartheid movement, and a hero of the black liberation struggle. His legacy lives on in the minds and hearts of millions of South Africans, who continue to draw inspiration and guidance from his vision and values. His writings and speeches have been collected and published in several books, such as I Write What I Like and No Fears Expressed. He has also been commemorated in various forms of art and culture, such as the song Biko by Peter Gabriel, the film Cry Freedom by Richard Attenborough, and the Steve Biko Center, a museum and cultural center in his hometown. Thank you for watching this episode of Black History Matters. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions for future topics. Until next time, remember, history matters.